Niall, how satisfying was that? Oh, very satisfying. You know, it was a few things we touched on before the game that, like, we just wanted the work rate. Like, you know, in St. Unions, we always have the footballers, we always have the talent, but, you know, the work rate can probably sometimes be questionable. And every time we come up against Glenties, they always bring the savage intensity. And we knew if we were going to beat them today, we couldn't just rely on our skills. We had to rely on, on our intensity. And I thought we, it was so pleasing to see that we definitely outworked them all over the pitch today. And, you know, it's not really something you see from a Unions team. We dug in deep in the weather conditions, you know, didn't suit us really but it didn't really matter we, we dug in deep we won the dirty ball we won the breaks and we just hurt them on the scoreboard and we kept them our defenders were top class keeping them to one two at the back so yeah. very pleasing day and digging deep was really the key thing because of the conditions out there today and patience as well Niall I thought you showed a lot of patience in the first half with possession and when they had possession as well not giving away too many fouls yeah definitely like it was one thing we touched on yesterday in the meeting was that like you know, we we knew we had the football and ability, but you didn't want to come out, and we didn't want to, you know, leave another one behind us. And we knew that Glenties were going to come out, and they were going to be tired probably from the back of last week. And we knew we'd be patient. They were going to rely on us making silly mistakes and kind of getting us on the counter in the first half. You know, we we kind of give away the ball sometimes cheaply away, but we we held on to it for the majority, and we we picked our times to get our scores, and we kept chipping away, and we kept them to a point, and we built up a four point lead at half time, and at half time was said, listen, boys, we we outworked these boys are going to win the game, and it was a very pleasing aspect. From yeah, that. big moment for Unions and not for them. Uh, in fact, for them as well. Jack McKelvey, his black card just before half time. He'd been playing very well in their full back. That was a huge loss to them. Aye, definitely. Jack's been playing amazing stuff for the seniors this year, and he's definitely a threat for them going forward and defending. He he was uh, on Park McGee again, I think, in full yeah, back, and yeah. he's marshalling them well enough. But and then he, I think, it was a great ball in by Duck O'Donnell, and Kevin got the ball. I think Jack just kind of took him down, but. Listen. Instinctive sort of a thing, wasn't it? Really, aye, it was either that probably or it would have been a goal. So you know, mm. he kind of decided to take the black card at the time. But uh, listen, Jack's been flying for them all year, and that was kind of a big turning point for them. Then, when yeah. for us going into half time, and two big turning points after half time with the opening goal after two minutes, and then your goal after five minutes it was really game over. Then, Niall, it provided you just kept the concentration. Aye, definitely at half time. I think I said to the boys, listen, 10, 15 more minutes, and uh, you know, we we keep the ball, we we control the game the first half, and I says. We, we build up another few points and we'll, we'll control the game again and I asked the boys to keep the score down at the back and at, at half time and they definitely done that and only got a goal but keeping it any team to one two especially Glenties with the marquee forwards I have was great and I suppose the park flicked it into the net and then I got a goal in from probably a turnover but yeah. after that then we were patient in our build up we still didn't panic and know a few slappy balls away but very pleasing the way we controlled the game you know it was it was, it was nice because usually unions you know we're not really we don't we never really struggle to control the game and it's great to see we, we controlled the breaks and we controlled our defence and we controlled our attacking play and it was just very yeah. pleasing How how big a deed for this group to one back to back under 21s now? Yeah, huge. You know, said again that like, listen, Kilcar, Gidor, they won 21s, Eric Lenties, and they've all won senior championships. And you know, that's the double double now, the hurling and the football yeah, two years yeah. in a row. So, listen, it's only it's a, it's a bright, bright, there's a could be a bright future for the club, you know, with winning doubles. And uh, listen, that's that's the platform you need for seniors is winning under 21s. I know we didn't really win that many under 21s in the past few years, and maybe that showed with the seniors, but that's two two wins now with the seniors, so or two wins with the 21s. Yeah, yeah. So, hopefully, now that can, can all blend together next year and hopefully push for the senior championship next year Yeah, there'll be no respite McKenna Cup draw is made it's due to start I'm not sure how Declan's going to use you maybe but uh, there's a lot of football Niall you know you can't play football 12 months of the year there's got to be wee periods where you're resting the body and resting the mind as well Hi, definitely this, definitely every year now it's kind of a, a long year especially with college football too thrown yeah, in the January yeah. the Sigerson is going to be played off in January with McKenna Cup and exams and all in January so January is going to be a busy month, but sure, every month's busy now. <laughs> the way the football's going, but sure, just about keeping injury free and keeping going. Yeah, because a young player like you wants to play all the time. Maybe it's not the right thing, Aye. but you, you don't want to be sitting on the bench. You don't want to be left out of the squad. <laughs> but it has to be measured. You're depending on your team managers to be maybe more sensible than you might be. I definitely you know. I, I, I wouldn't. It'd be impossible for me to sit on the bench watching a game. You know, but I think the managers are working it well with training and whatnot. You know, Declan, I know he left a game today. No problem, not training Friday night or whatever. And yeah. Johnny Doyle's. Sigerson manager and he's the exact same you know it's it's kind of it's more independent on the players now and on how their body feels because no manager knows how any player feels so I think it's definitely working that way and everyone's fresh for games and that's how the managers want you playing games so yeah. that's how it's working out for me anyway so final question big year ahead for Donegal 2020 yeah listen hopefully like after the last year you know we thought we could have could have pushed on and we didn't when we lost the Mayo but definitely at the start of this year already it's looking good and uh, we have a lot of new faces in to freshen up the team and the great thing about this Donegal team is you, you can't really rest on your morals and if you're in the start position you know you're fighting for it every day and there's so many 
talented forwards, so many talented defenders that if you're not playing well, you're going to be you're going to be on the bench, and that that's the great thing about it. And definitely looking forward to hopefully a competitive 2020. Yeah, we'll look forward to plenty from you. Thanks, yeah, Niall. Thanks, Philip.